10 today, 10 tomorrow, 10 the next day, 10 the next day, and 10 the next day. I seen TV, this is my story. I was going to dinner with my mom. We went to Mr. and Mrs. Crab. And um, after that, we were driving back home. I was on the highway, my mom was behind me driving on the highway, and all of a sudden she called my phone, she was like, Previn, I was like, yeah. She was like, your car tire is smoking. I'm like, ah, oh, God, dang. So as soon as she said that, I like felt it, it was like, car was like, Doo. I was like, oh, snap. So I pulled over to the highway and there was no shoulder, so I was forced to stay on the right lane where car is going. So my mom pulled over behind me and I got out. She was like, Previn, I'm scared, I don't like it here, I don't like it here. I was like, well, I can't go anywhere. Like, this is my car, I'm about to leave her car here. Like, I'm trying to call AAA, like that, there was so much going on. So I'm on the phone with AAA, I'm looking at the tire, like I said, my mom's behind me. I turn around, and I see this big white SUV coming towards my mom in our lane. It happened so fast that I could, I would, I didn't have time to react. So she banned my mom's car. My mom's car banned me, and then I hit my car that I was in. So I was like pinned in between both cars. That's where I lost my leg. That's where this fella came in. And then I blacked out for like five seconds. And all I remember is like waking up, me holding my leg. I was like, oh my God, like, oh my God, my God. If my, you, I can see, I had on pants. I could see the bone poking out of my pants. My mom, she couldn't do anything because she was trapped in her car because the girl hit the back of her car so bad. Cars were still going by. I'm on the floor, bleeding, like bleeding. Cars were still going by. So this man got off a motorcycle and he was like, stop traffic. He was like, yo, stop traffic. He ran into me, making sure I'm okay. He's like, yo, yo, stay okay, stay okay. I called the police. Running to my mom, trying to get her out the car, but it's not working. So finally the ambulance came. I'm on the floor still screaming for bloody mother. And then all I remember is the ambulance put this red heavy blanket over my face. So I couldn't see. They like covered my face. And all I heard was a, I they cut it off at the scene. They cut it off at the scene. I'm sitting here watching them with my leg, with my damn joints on my leg. But they took it. So then I went to the ambulance in excruciating pain. Um, I don't know why I was still like up. Like I'm nosy, so I don't. I don't want to go to sleep. I want y'all. I want to see what y'all about to do with my body and my leg. I went to the um hospital. I had surgery. I was undergoing surgery for like ten hours. The leg was too damaged for me to put it back on. So. I was just, yeah, I was amputated. So that's what happened in like, my like amputated. Um, my life has been crazy. No, I don't think nobody understands like how crazy it's, it, it, it can be. Like I can't really run anymore. So I gotta be careful when I go into big settings cause anything can happen. And you know, black people, they just start running. I can't do that anymore. I gotta hit one of these, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm an amputee. I'm very, very, how can I put this? I'm okay with how I am, you know what I'm saying? Most people will be like down and depressed, but I'm figuring out what can I do next? Where can I work with my amputee? How can I make this like, how can I have an amputee that fit my outfits? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta, you can't, you can't really let that get to your brain. Cause that's when you start looking different, feeling different. You be in the house like too much. No, I still look good with or without my leg. I promise you I do. I am seen, are you?